Hello and welcome to the Microsoft Megabyte for June 17th, 2021. Today, we're getting down to work by looking at what it means for an accessory to be truly productive in this modern hybrid world we're all working in. So to do this, we're happy to have Rob Polenska, Senior Product Marketing Manager at Microsoft, to talk about some of the latest generation of products designed specifically to help users and customers achieve more. So hello, howdy, Rob, thanks for joining us. Hey, Ryan, how are you doing today? Not too bad. Thanks for giving us your time today. This is an area that we we don't spend too much time talking about, strictly productivity. For most of our customers that are coming into stores, getting the, getting comfortable with this new working environment, this is actually a really, really integral part of what we do and what we talk about. So I'm curious, what does a senior product marketing manager actually do? What's your day in the life look like? Literally changes day, day to day, and, and especially during this this time and uh, working through the the pandemic. Really, just just trying to, to stay focused and, and collaborative with our, our teams throughout, regardless of, of the project that that we're working on. And um, so, you know, it, it might be some of those days where you're literally in back to back meetings all day. Uh, other days, you're working on strategy documents or mm-hmm. collaborating with engineering teams, design teams, uh, and, and sales to to really bring these products to life. And and, and so, uh, it really is just a, a fun and exciting time uh, with these products that. That we're working on and uh, that we just launched that really kind of just help us uh, achieve that productivity as we're working from home uh, just much easier. Yeah. So in those meetings and in those strategy documents and in all those brainstorming sessions and stuff, can you give us a glimpse into what the needs are of the modern user in this, you know, now that we're exiting this pandemic world we've been living in, but the workforce has totally changed anyway. What are the needs of the modern customer now in terms of productivity? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I think just going back as we think about uh, when the pandemic started and just how it changed work for so many of us, um, you know, having to pick up our desks at our offices and just relocate them to our living room, maybe a home office or, or, or kitchen tables. You know, we, we saw that really come through then just in the acceleration of, of Microsoft Teams. Uh, you know, I, I think there's something at like 145 million daily active users, which, you know, that's a lot of video and conference calls uh, each day right. that, that's happening. And, and so uh, just that that need for, for productivity uh, um, within these devices that that people are using day in and day out to to stay connected, people are are, are relying on the connections of these calls to to just continue their their daily operations. And so it, it's really the, the the need to to understand it and really just empathize with the, the people, even in everybody's own unique situation, where they're coming from, what type of business that they're doing, and then you know what are they looking for in the upgrades? Uh, you know, you may have some people who enjoy just the the, the traditional audio and, and video quality that they've had from from their device, but when they really needed to dive dive in and put it through heavy usage day to day, uh, they were just looking for something that was a little bit more of, of an upgrade so that, you know, they're really coming through crystal clear, both in the video as well as just being heard um, really well and, and crisply uh, during during those calls. You know, Rob, it's really something I'm, I'm very fascinated by those huge tidal shifts that humanity goes through with technology that in hindsight are incredible. But while it's happening, you don't quite notice it. And For example, if you go and watch some footage of, you know, some of your favorite video games from, say, 15 years ago that that were incredible at the time, just the quality was unbelievable. The the FPS was insane. The resolution was madness. And you go back and you watch like, oh, my gosh, that's what it looked like. No, that can't be what it looked like. Oh, my gosh, that is what it looked like. I'm just so used to my 4K screen now. I'm so used to 60 frames per second. I'm so used to this fidelity difference now. And I think that is so true when you get into a conference call and there's someone uh, or perhaps it's you who is online and the quality, the bandwidth is just not there or the quality of the hardware, the quality of the camera, the quality of the microphone is just not up to snuff. And it sounds, frankly, awful compared to now what we're used to is what a modern experience is like. And I think so many users and customers out there still haven't experienced what that shift really looks like as people fortunate like you and me to work within the Microsoft ecosystem with these awesome peripherals, awesome modern devices and 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 software like Teams. Do you agree that there's still a huge opportunity to really educate and inspire our users with what's really possible in terms of quality from your home office? Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and I mean, I think you touched on, on some of that of, again, everyone's home experience is going to be slightly different and, and it's going to be slightly different for their needs to enable that productivity where, uh, again, you might have three or four people in your household sharing the bandwidth or three or four people, maybe one or two people in a, a single room who need to share an office space. And and how do you sort through who who's going to be on a call at which point and, and how do you maintain a level of privacy or productivity? And, and so I think as we think about transition, that's going to then come with sort of the, the hybrid work environment or, or a work from anywhere. 
also just being mindful that that we have the devices uh, and accessories that that can enable that productivity as we have that shift because Again, in, in certain scenarios at certain organizations, some people might end up you know, fully back in, in an office uh, for the entire organization, or you might be having some people who uh, are splitting time between a, a home or an, an work office, or you know, certainly some stories that I've read where, where organizations are just going to stay 100% remote. Yeah. Um, and, and, and so you know, being able to also just have those devices that are going to work across now all of these different uh, environments um, that are really just going to enhance the experience to, to that next level uh, is really kind of what uh, was in mind during all the development process for you know, our new Certified for Teams accessories. Okay, so Microsoft Modern Wireless Headset. So this is part of the new, like you say, Certified for Microsoft Teams accessory lineup. So why does the world need a new wireless headset? You know, what was the development philosophy here for why this product? Yeah, so, so I mean, this was really looking at just uh, some of the great software experiences that, that already existed um, uh, through our, our Microsoft Teams experience and, and really then being able to, to find the ways that we could enrich that experience through the devices we've had. Uh, you know, we, we have had uh, success with the, the headphones and webcams that we've launched previously. And, and so it was really then how do we bring these up to date to modernize the, the experience and really drive through and take advantage of everything that comes with that team certification. You're thinking about audio, you know, that's going to mean like no echo, distortion or excessive glitches. Uh, you're going to get some echo cancellation that's also supported across those devices. Uh, and, you know, as they're going through that certification process, it, it's also just going to mean uh, they're, they're hitting those rigorous standards um, for, for passing that bar. Um, and then also it, it's just being able to have that rich integration with Teams. So uh, as you have controls built into the devices, you know, you're going to be able to seamlessly operate uh, and manage your, your meetings right right from your device. Um, but then also just in, in, in the end, it's just being able to, to use your, your accessories with Teams um, to be able to just deliver crystal clear audio and, and video that, you know, you're both delivering to uh, the, the people who you are on those calls with or in those meetings with, uh, but then also on the other end, you're being able to, to receive them. And so as we think about how that applies to, to headsets, it, it really was then, you know, how do we package this experience together? Um, so, you know, people are just in in total control of, of their call. And so, as I mentioned before, just right off the top, headsets are just going to be able to offer more of that that privacy uh, where, you know, you can put them on. You might be in a room or, or a house where you have other things going on and you need to stay focused during the zone. Um, or, you know, maybe you're back at the office. You know, it's more of an open environment and, and you need to just, uh, again, be, be focused and, and, and doing what you're doing. The headsets are, are going to be able to enable that. And so then was really just starting to put all these pieces together of, all right, if we have this great call quality experience through the team certification, uh, we know people might have to wear these a little bit longer throughout the day. Uh, mm -hmm. How do we then bring some of those design elements to, to life through just like a very comfortable all day wear? And so being uh, very conscious of the, the, the materials and the quality so that you're going to get just a good, long lasting premium experience when, when you're wearing these. And, and so, you know, when that comes through with the, the, the wireless headset, specifically, it's it's really just lightweight padded ear cups, lightweight headband, and just then being able to, to disconnect from your desk if you need to take some paces to, uh, you know, just get a cup of water, whatever the case may be, going to be that freedom and, and flexibility. So it's a meme almost now, the whole like, oops, sorry, I was on mute, or hey, Brian, you're on mute, and everyone's talking, and you've been talking for 20 seconds, and it's, it is genuinely a humiliating experience, and I think a lot of the things you're talking about help to remove those barriers of a, a clear, easy, free-flowing conference call or meeting by having those important critical features just in the hardware itself, on the device itself. Because truly, when you're just using your mouse to hover over the and click the mute unmute button, that is so much more cumbersome than having that that actual button on the device itself and an indicator light that tells you whether or not you're on mute. That is genuinely game changing and can eliminate those kinds of experiences where your users or your customers are saying how much they're nervous when they have to get on a conference call on a Teams meeting or something because they don't like it. They're, they're confused by all this stuff. This helps remove those complications by having these features. And I'm curious, Rob, what's battery life like on headset? 
Yeah, so with the, the wireless headset, uh, it's going to be 30 hours for voice calling and, and up to, to 50 hours for, for music. Uh, Whoa. And yeah, no, I mean, a team uh, was very excited for, for that because, uh, again, these are going to have to last uh, throughout a day or, or, or multiple days. Um, so, so definitely going to get a great experience there. And, and just actually going back to, to touch on the, you know, the you're on mute. Uh, I mean, that was yeah. literally, uh, you know, at the, the center of so many discussions that, that we had throughout the development process, you know, across many of the, the audio devices, because it is like, you know, the phrase of those working remotely in, in the pandemic, uh, you know, it happens to me still. And so, you know, as we think about just those call controls that are really just going to give people more of those just subtle conveniences, you know, whether it's being able to, you know, see that you're on mute and then be able to quickly mute, unmute yourself, you know, things then like having a Teams button just at ready access. So, you know, you can either just uh, join your Teams call quickly or, you know, press the Teams button and have the, the Teams window pop right up for you to then things like the the call controls and, and a hook switch. So you can just also easily hang up up, you know, whenever the call is done. Awesome. The one really cool feature about the, the wireless headset uh, that's unique to the wireless uh, relative to the wired is it also has this great flip to mute boom mic. So, you know, th- think about that situation where, uh, you know, you might be at your desk and all of a sudden, you know, you're in the middle participating in the call your dog starts barking or, uh, you know, maybe your, your child comes up and is just super excited to tell you something cool they learned. You can literally just flip that boom mic up and it's just going to put you on mute right away. Uh, so then, you know, you'll be able to have a chat with your child or yeah. maybe go see what the dog is barking about without disrupting the rest of the call. And so after that, you'll just be able to flip the mic right back down and you'll be ready to jump back in the conversation. We do have the wired version of, of the headset as well. Same design, same look and feel, uh, same core features and functionalities as the wireless. Uh, but with this one, you're going to get your uh, meeting controls just built in right through the the, the wired cord. Right. Um, and so you're going to have access to, to all those easy controls that, that you need to quickly unmute yourself um, or, or or unmute yourself. Um, and, and you know, one piece that, that I actually just didn't mention before that, that I want to highlight is there's this also great um, push to unmute feature with all of the, the the team certified audio devices that we have where if you're on mute, you can press and hold the, the, the mute button, which will briefly unmute you. So you can jump right into that conversation, land the point that, that you want, Ah. Lift your finger off the button and you're right back on mute. Um, And and, and so, you know, there was a lot of thought and effort put into how do we just drive a consistent uh, experience across all of the team's audio devices that we have. So those controls are consistent. And and as people flex across maybe a speakerphone to a a headset, um, everything is going to be the same. It's going to be a seamless experience. um, And you're going to know exactly what you're doing when you pick up that device and start using it. Let's pivot a little bit to keep talking about audio from my favorite of these um, new certified for Teams accessories, the modern USB-C speaker. What the heck is this? So this is this is really, really surprising to see come out in this new portfolio. Can you explain now what the thought process was behind this? Why a USB-C speaker? Yeah. So, you know, this is another great certified for for Teams uh, audio accessory here. And throughout the the pandemic, we've definitely seen that demand for people who want to upgrade their PCs, voice and audio, uh, but also just want an alternative to headphones. Uh, In some cases, people are working remotely by themselves and and simply just don't want to wear headphones all day. Or uh, in other cases, maybe they have a big interview coming up and just want to feel more confident and natural without anything on their head. Um, And then so, you know, even then projecting out, you know, thinking through when people get back into an office, uh, Um, And there's going to be small, socially distanced team huddles uh, that you're also going to need to connect in the people who are working remote. Um, It's something that can just be placed on a small table in a a conference room and, and just like bring everybody together to have that meeting. You have to see images of this because to talk about it, you don't get the full experience about what this device is. It's it sits on your desk and plugs right into your to your laptop or your device, and it's small, compact with some buttons on top to you know adjust volume, mute buttons, um, join a Teams call. But it's so it's small, yet the sound quality is absurdly good, and it's got the directional microphone built in, so you can be, as you say, walking around maybe a hotel room or something something on a conference call and hearing everyone else super clear without having to rely on, say, your laptop speakers. Is that right? 
Yeah, no, I mean, you hit the nail on the head there. So, so I mean, as the, the team was really thinking through, like, the, the range of environments where, where this could exist, uh, you know, it was really how do you bring some of those enhanced audio uh, and voice capability features to this? And, and so, you know, this actually has two omnidirectional noise-reducing uh, microphones so that you really can pick up those voices from, uh, you know, the corners of the room, as well as then just a, an enhanced high-quality speaker driver uh, that's going to give you that sound boost. So it's, you know, definitely ready for that next conference call or, you know, maybe you're, you're just plowing through some work and and you know have that next song coming up on your playlist. Um, so so really just being able to bring you that overall enhanced sound experience uh, is is paramount for a, a device like this. And you know then touching on the, the piece where you noted the the compact design, um, you know very much uh, in, intentional and and uh, a well thought out design, knowing that. Again, people's desk spaces, whatever that means to them, uh, could also just be very limited. Uh, for, for some, it, it might still just be, I got a tray on my lap and uh, I'm, I'm sitting on my sofa. Or some of those people who are, are maybe going back to a, a hoteling, hot desk type space uh, in, in their office and, and just have a very small space that, that they need to bring everything in. Uh, and so they might want to bring this back and forth. And so how do we have something that's even compact and portable uh, that just integrates nicely within whatever desktop setup they have? Um, and so there's also just some additional features to, to round that out, which, you know, there's an integrated cord storage. So literally you can wrap your cord right around the, the bottom of your device and it just vanishes right uh, below it. Uh, so, you know, you can unwind and have as much or as little cord as you want until you reach that optimal placement uh, right on your desk. And, and then, uh, you know, when you're all done for the day and, and maybe you're heading back home, just actually, you can pop it right into a, a carrying case, uh, so it's protected as, as you travel. And, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, it just does fit nice, neatly um, on any desktop. Awesome. So we have the modern wireless headset for our users who want that over-the-ear experience with that with that flip to mute on the on the mic boom arm feature, and we have the modern USB Type C speaker, which speaker doesn't tell the whole story there because it is also a, a really advanced, really premium microphone. So for that's again for non over the ear for a more fluid walking around the room type experience and then also for just filling a room with sound itself. So those two options for audio experiences that are both certified for teams. Now, let's pivot a little bit more now to talk about the visual side of things. So with the modern webcam. Okay. So what is it about a webcam now that ne means it's modern? What makes this a modern webcam? Yes, so this is really just uh, bring it to to meet the the needs that that we have today with the experiences everybody's having. Um, really thinking about you know that that compact space and, and design and and the needs people have. Uh, again, just going back to the limited space they have, and and so uh, how is something just very well thought out in in terms of the uh, different placements it might end up. Um, making sure that it's coming with the the, the right features at at uh, the right price to to bring just a really high quality value. Um, at, at a great uh, price point. And, and so it's balancing then uh, some of those features uh, such as like uh, an autofocus, getting the 1080p, the HDR, uh, auto light adjustment. So, so that really it's, it's bringing these all together to, to really put you in, in the spotlight, you know, when, when you're on camera and, and you're maybe presenting to the board mm -hmm. uh, or again, you know, going back to those interviews, uh, which are definitely just critical throughout this time. Um, it, it's enhancing them and, and, you know, being able to get them to meet that criteria to, to be that certified for teams. Uh, so that's really just reaching that extra level uh, as you're, you're using it through uh, the team software uh, to really be able to en enhance everything that you have going on. That's great. And I would let's just like to call out the importance of for uh, many customers, for many users, a webcam itself. It might seem redundant to a lot of those listening right now because so many modern devices have built in high definition many times cameras, like a Surface device, something that has a really high quality, sometimes two cameras, front facing, rear facing. So why the need for a modern webcam? Well, personally, I can tell you having that other angle, that second angle for presentations or for just showing more of your workspace or for using your computer while you're still fully in camera from a different angle has suddenly become, perhaps it used to be just something for a, 
a very small niche part of the market. But now suddenly is a very common, very common use case scenario that any customer who is giving presentations or or perhaps, you know, whiteboarding virtually or digitally and all those kinds of things, giving any kind of look into their environment needs that other angle. And this is the exact kind of product that can give that other angle at the 78, I believe it's 78 degrees field of view with this camera. You can now do that. You can use both those cameras side by side if you like. And I think that's, that's an important message that I just want everyone out there to know that just because a device has a built-in camera, a second, a webcam that's high definition that has these advanced features is oftentimes a perfect supplement for a customer to get the most out of their experience. Yeah, no, I, I mean you're, you're you're spot on, and it really brings that that versatility to, to life. You know, the the modern webcam has three different options. You can either clip it uh, right to the top of a monitor uh, if mm-hmm. you have like a dock set station set up, um, but then you know you can also just set it right right down on your desk or mount it to a tripod. And and so you know, thinking through some of these new scenarios with the, the new world that that we're working in or or even learning in, uh, you know, thinking about that teacher who's trying to do a, a science demonstration demonstration, it's not going to work well if, if you just you know try and point a laptop at it. So how do you set up that that right scenario? Uh, you can even tilt uh, the, the the camera itself once it's in position up and down. Uh, so you can really capture that best angle. Uh, but then also just thinking even as some people might be conducting their, their business more virtually, uh, like thinking about the, the yoga instructor uh, who may be doing the classes virtually and, and needs to have something set up to uh, you know really capture, like you said, that, that full field of view, uh, but be able to be set up in, in a certain situation that, that's going to ensure everybody can uh, see what the instructor is, is doing. And, and so uh, certainly very, very critical critical uh, for this. Excellent. It's worth double clicking just one more time into one particular feature of this webcam, which is that privacy shutter. Privacy is paramount to many people. And knowing that there is that, sure, that LED indicator, but also that that actual physical privacy shutter is such a powerful feature for customers to, to show. That's actually a demo worthy feature, I think, for a lot of customers. Don't you agree? Yeah, no. I again. I mean, you, you couldn't have been more spot on. It feels like you were sitting in in some of these meetings as we were <laughs> we were discussing some of this stuff. Um, you know, we we have literally invited our coworkers and in, into our homes. Um, you know, we, yeah. we've invited business partners. We have invited teachers. You know, there are some great Teams features. Uh, you know, where you can maybe blur a background, but but also sure. it's just you know it's that need where where some people want to just make sure I need to know my camera is off no matter what. Um, and and so you know this integrated privacy shutter that's just built right in, just being able to quickly slide your finger, slide it over, it's in place, you know nothing is, is going to get past that that shutter, uh, you know, really just brings that that level of ease uh, to, to people, you know, whatever the situation may be. Um, and, and, you know, just just hearing from from everybody, again, those privacy concerns that, that you noted, you know, very spot on for, for the times. Okay, Rob, we've covered off on, I would say, you know, quite a lot of info for just these three modern devices. Nevertheless, I know there's a lot of people out there listening who would love to dive in even deeper and understand more of the tech specs and perhaps the behind the scenes of them. So where can where can you go from here if you want to find out more about these modern accessories? Yeah, so there's a great Microsoft Mechanics video that was just released uh, where you can get in-depth technical details behind the accessories. Uh, You'll be able to hear from Brandon Powell, who's our our senior director and leads the team building the accessories. All you have to do is just go to Bing, search for Microsoft Mechanics Accessory Tour, and it'll be the one right at the top of your list, and and you can just uh, dive right in and and start to to digest more of those technical details. It's it's a great tour across all of the, the devices. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much for that resource. And Rob, thank you so much for your time. This has been really, really exciting. And you know what? We're talking productivity and you made it fun. Thanks so much. Yeah, no, thank you so much, Brian. I definitely excited to to have been here and and appreciate uh, the invite today. Cheers. Till next time. Have a good one. This has been the Microsoft Megabyte Podcast, a training tool for Microsoft field team members and sales professionals across the country produced by Microsoft employees.